how he really feels about you. Let's have a look. How's he really feeling? This reading is for who it's for. If you claim it, let me know. Um, just putting these readings out for those to find it when you need to find it. If you claim it, let me know. If it's not yours, be respectful and leave it for the person that it's for. Um, that's all I ask. So, just over here doing my own thing, my own kind of way, because it makes sense. How does he really feel about you? I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements. Four seasons, most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection. I'm going to go towards this one because it's one that's slid around the most. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Justice, really nice balance. Um, hmm, a hanged one. They're kind of at a crossroads in life. Uh, the justice card can be someone that's highly educated. It could be about the legal system. It could be about contracts. It can be about marriage, I guess, with legal binding contract. It could be about mortgages. It can be responsibility, the truth. Uh, we have the hanged one, which is making a sacrifice to move forward. They're weighing up their options at the moment about you. That's what I'm saying. They're... The things that are all coming in my head at the moment is mortgages, tenancies, lease, marriage, documents, financial documents, all of these, all of this paperwork, all of this paperwork. And to move forward and progress, there needs to be some kind of sacrifice. Is that that they need to move location? Do you need to move location? Do they need a divorce? Do they need, what is it that they need? Do they need to break a lease? It's just all of this paperwork. All of this paperwork is trying to get through. Or going to have to get through. To move to a better future. Because the hanged one's all about making choices to move to a better future. So if that makes sense to you, this is a reading for you. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of paperwork. So much paperwork. That's interesting. That's interesting. The lovers, how do they feel? Yeah, the lovers card's all about passion, making their heart sing, but it's about making a choice. They're making a choice at the moment. They're trying to make the right decision and they're going with their heart. They're going with where they trust they want to be, attraction. They're very much attracted to you. But there's some kind of conflicting choice going on here and I do think it's some kind of paperwork that needs to happen for you two to both be together. I think you're already together. But at some point, there's going to be the breaking of a lease, a signing of documents for a mortgage, uh, some kind of legal paper, maybe even signing off on a divorce. I don't know. I don't know. Don't take, don't take that. If the paperwork, you know, that makes sense for you. Maybe a relocation. It may be a job change. It may be anything. It'll fit you. You'll know what it is. And they're trying to decide. They're following their heart. You make their heart sing. The idea of being with you makes the heart sing. And you're worth making a sacrifice for. <laughs> I want to stop the reading now. Because we know the cards will go the way the cards go. The magician they manifested you. They're very lucky to have you. Um, sometimes they lack a little bit of confidence. But they have the awareness that you're the one for them. They manifested you a long time ago and they're trying to bring it to life. The magician is all about trying to bring things to life. They recognise exactly what is on the table in front of them and they're weighing up all of their options. And I don't think this is an option of them either being with you or not being with you. I think that's the done deal. They're with you, but they're trying to decide what their next move is. What do they now need to do to progress this? What, what is it that they need to do to make this from the idea into actual real life, into the logistics of life, the, the skeleton of life, the, the living, the breathing, the paying the bills, the boring adult things, you know. I'm not going to say they're going to propose, but I don't normally get a marriage with a justice card in my head, but some kind of legal binding document either needs to be broken or needs to be signed, or one needs to be broken so another one can be signed. Could be a lease, could be a 
house, home, car, I don't know, you know, you, you'll know. Um, the Ace of Swords, something new, and also a very sexual card, it's a very masculine sexual card, you turn them on, <laughs> you turn them on, mind, mind, body and soul, I'm picking up here, you know, with the Lovers card, it's all about the heart, passion, with the Swords, it's all about the mind, thinking, I wouldn't be surprised if they've got either an education in life, or they're highly educated formally, but they know a lot. They know a lot and they may read a lot or they may watch a lot or they may watch, listen to a lot of podcasts. But they're very knowledgeable and they like to make the right decisions. How do they feel about you? There's, there's no question. They want to be with you. They are with you. They don't want to walk away from you. They're not going to walk away from you. It's like, well, what's our next bit? What's the next chapter for us? That's kind of, they're very serious very serious. The Queen of Swords, whether that's you, them, may symbolise your connection. The Queen of Swords is very blunt, bossy, clear about what she wants. Um, you may be dealing with an air sign because the just card's Libra, but we have Aquarius and Gemini as options as well that may feature heavily in one of your birth charts. Sometimes I don't lean towards the Zodiac, but within this I am the whole air, all up in the air. Like Everything's up in the air at the moment. But it's going to work out, I think. <laughs> we'll see if we get to the outcome. But, yeah, it's nice. They're quite clear with you. When they... The things that they've said they want to do, they want to do. And the Queen of Swords could just symbolise you both as a unit. Um, which doesn't often happen. Uh, the Queen... The Queen... The Page of Cups. You make them feel like a teenager. This is a heart, body and spirit moment. Oh, it's nice. It's really nice. Get off this read and go and enjoy them. Stop worrying. Stop stressing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of living and a lot of life here. Timing. Stand on the ground for what they want. They'll be clear about what they want, but they'll also stand the ground for what they want. Whatever life throws at them, they kind of overcome it and they're happy to. They have your back. Whatever you want in life. When you know, as time goes by, if you get a like a hobby that you want to do this person will get you all of the things for that hobby and they'll completely 100% support it you know sometimes in couples one person gets a hobby and the other person's like I do not understand go do that on your own I'm not supporting it I don't understand it you're wasting any money sometimes within couples one person gets the hobby that the other person doesn't really understand but they give them the full support of is this what you want to do? Should we get a shed? Should we do this? Should we get that? Should we go here? Should we go on this holiday? Because it's to do with the thing that you love, you know. It feels very supportive. This person feels like very supportive of what you want. And that doesn't happen often. You can have happy marriages where the two people don't understand, don't support each other's hobbies. And that'd be the thing that they always argue about. They're still quite a happy couple, but that'll be the, you spend too much time doing that. no. You know, so we have a tower moment. Yeah, there's there's something that they need to. I, I, it is very much like paperwork that needs to be torn up, or a contract bought out of, or resolved, or something. A moment of liberation, being um, set free from some legal binding thing, so that they're free to create a new one. King of Swords, there we go. You're perfect for one another. Perfect for one another. They're very clear about how they feel about you. Very clear. They want the whole thing with you. There's no question here. There's mind, body, spirit. They love the way your mind works. They love the way your body works. I'm going to end reading here. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. If you've made it to this point, now part of my Purple Heart gang, if you claim the reading, let me know. Put a like on the reading. I'll see that someone's claimed it. You'll know that you've liked it. And that's all that matters. And I will see you soon.